hopefully that sets a precedent. Three, two, yeah. one, and you'll see the screen ninja. Like, just license GGP though. It's free. Should uh apply. Apply there and get the job and switch it for everybody. Yeah, I'll just go to Nintendo and be like, yo, Sakura. Yo, I got this. Just like literally a free licensing code here. All you gotta do is just credit them. And it is going to be objectively better. <laughs> Bishop Rupp airs. Yeah, once, Ru once Yoshi uses a double jump, he becomes significantly weaker. Because for those of you guys who do not know, although you really should know this by now, um, Yoshi has double jump on. Basically, you actually get armor whenever you do your double jump with Yoshi. And it actually does carry over for the first few frames after your double jump. So you're able to get a uh, perfect so you're able to get armored neutral airs, armored up airs, armored down, armored back airs, stuff like that. Ooh, good forward air. Good back air. They're not quite taking the kill though. Oh, but he did take his jump, so he's out of the picture right now. Okay, a little bit of shield pressure there with the downer. Smash, not quite taking it yet. Good down B, getting him right off the jump. Okay, kind of fishing for a neutral air there. One of Greenidge's biggest problems, and uh, this is something Benny has uh, pointed out to me a lot, is that Greninja has no good out of shield options. Which is why you don't really see a lot of Greninjas going for their shield. They usually use a basic move for their death. Okay. Ooh. That's one out. Oh. Unfortunate. So, talking, I was just talking about uh, one of Greninja's main weaknesses, which is uh, the fact that he doesn't really have any reliable out of shield options. That is true, but Greninja's grab is like a tether grab. Hmm. But that doesn't cover you if they're behind you. It's true, too. I mean, patient jumps, if you just jump your out of shield, is not a bad option, but you're right, it's not really a good out of shield option. Okay, good job, Sneak. Yoshi. Are you still spectating or did you get disconnected from the lobby? I get disconnected from the lobby. Fantastic. I'm very professional, so. <laughs> we spare no expense for this online tournament. <laughs> the best commentators you can find. Yes. You don't need no D1 or E. TK Breezy. Uh, yeah. Twisted and Twisted Rose. And Rose. <laughs> Let's go. We're like bargain brand whiskey. Okay, good up smash. Taking game one. Un barely squeezing back a comeback. He was at 152%. Well, it's not a blank screen. There's something going on. 
Who won game one? He didn't see. Uh, that would be Jagra. Falling back here. I'm sorry, every time I see Yoshi now, I think of two things. One, our good friend Salty Fun. Uh, and yes. two, the infamous clip where uh, Kony is just complaining about Yoshi, like, this character is for babies! Have I you ever seen that clip? I have not, but it speaks to my heart. There's a little bit of lag going on. Lagged out of that game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, as I was trying to say earlier, what's weird about the way this game's coding is, is that, um... Is that they actually... Spectators apparently add delay. True. So if the spectator is lagging, it actually can affect the players. It's just ridiculous. Like, unfortunately, we can't really do anything about it because we need someone to stream the set. That's the only way we could do it. Yeah. Unless we have everybody, unless we have everybody individually streaming their sets. But add lag just doing that too, though. Yeah, but a lot of people have high bandwidth, and I was able to stream without any lag, uh, Zeno. Without any bonus lag. Bonus lag. That's fair. Yeah, because Mine. this game already has a pretty bad netcode. I see the ultimate's A-frame input delay, I think. Makes everything a little bit harder. Yeah, and it's delay-based netcode, too. Like, the purpose for an input delay would be for rollback netcode. True. I mean, Nintendo doesn't see this as a fighting game. They see it as a party game. Yeah, but, but... rollback netcode works great for, f for party game for pretty much every game. Conversion for that back air. I agree, man. Yeah. I mean, hey, if I maybe, was, if uh, I was heading hey, to Nintendo. Maybe this whole situation, once it dies down, maybe Sakurai will realize. Okay, maybe a lot of people are going to be playing online a little more. Maybe we should uh, spruce it up a little bit. Don't want to blame Sakura. I don't think it's a hit. I don't think he has anything to do with online. I think it's Nintendo's online system as a whole because we pay for the online. It doesn't. I don't think that. They and most really people pay specifically for Smash. Exactly. Like, that, especially me. I only play all my Smash and my Switch. Yeah. I play uh, Smash and other fighting games with I have a friend who only has the Switch version. I'm a big fighting game guy, but on the on the Switch, I just play Smash online. Everything else like is more like single-player games for Switch. I think the only fighting game I have for Switch is uh, Uniplayer. Mm. Not Smash. It's a party game. <laughs> Uniplayer is a party game. Uh, I mean, not that isn't Smash. I obviously have Smash. Borrowed a friend's Switch and wanted to commentate for the first time. <laughs> yeah, I borrowed a friend's Switch. A friend I can't see. They arranged a dead drop so I could use the Switch. Uh, they hooked it up to a drone and dropped it off at your, your house. Oh my god, Amazon drones would come in so handy right now. People would be looting in the streets. It'd be crazy. Because, like, especially where I'm from, man, people will be, like, going out with, like, shotguns, trying to shoot those things down and steal any package. It'd be, like, a real-life RPG. <laughs> It'd be, it would be Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. It would be The Division. That's what it would be. It would be The Division. <laughs> no, because the first Division game was about a pandemic that took over New York. Oh, you're right. It would be like that. That left New York completely isolated. From New York too, so I can imagine that. Yeah, New York City specifically. Oh my god. We should do that. Maybe we'd uh, be a real life video game. Give people something to do too. And yeah, stuff like give people guns. <laughs> yeah, sure. Great idea. Alright, uh, he is coming from a deficit though, but he can do this. This is PC Ninja's game to win. Or, Jay Grun's game to clutch. It's true, too. Oh, Nair is going to kill, yes. 
Good job. I think, he's been injured. Uh, nice. I think that was not good DI, but I can't blame him. a lot of ps2 this tournament yeah honestly here's what my theory is low key drop it on me quickly. okay so my theory is most people just expect to be playing on ps2 game one and then they forget to change their thing and the way ultimate decides who stages get picked Random. is that it randomly just if two people oh, don't agree on the stage or one person or two people pick a stage because if you pick because um what i've deduced is that if one person picks a stage and the other person picks random it will go to the person's pick stage it does yes but um Ooh. but what happens is that um if two people pick a stage it will randomly do a 50 50 chance between whose stage gets picked i don't like that i wish there was like oh there's a setting for like winners or losers So, what I think is happening is that most, that some people just press PS2, and even if they wanted to go to another stage, they end up playing on PS2. Ooh, good forward, let's go the stock. They end up playing on PS2 again, and the opponent is just like, ah, whatever. Yeah, PS2 is the, the starter stage. It's the most neutral stage, too, I think. Yeah, I remember in Smash 4, it was Starterville. Hey, people like Smashville. People liked Smashville. And not anymore, no more moving platform. Yeah, it actually is now Bayo's worst stage. Is it? Yeah, if you up the underneath the platform, you just insta land and you get a bunch of lag. I did not know that. I'm gonna do that now whenever I play against Bayo's. Oh, I strike it every time. Ah, uh, not against you though, another one. Every every Bayo who knows what they're doing strikes me. Strike Close game, PC Ninja. Is I thought that was a big deficit. He was able to take that back. Essentially leaving right now. Doesn't take PS2 for the starter stage when I'm in bracket. That freaks me off a little you bit. I'm like, yeah, it's like, what are you planning, my man? What are you planning? My favorite is when I used to ban PS2. <laughs> <laughs> that I really it. threw people off. Yeah, it's like I, I and especially because we don't pick characters first. It's like I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, usually what tournaments will do is that you just say what character you play for. Most stage. most time people don't do that. <laughs> I guess I gotta ask them. <laughs> that's my own fault. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. I say I play Bayo. Who are you playing? Uh, I gotta do that because I was playing a. Because that was technically in the rules for most ultimate tournaments. I was playing Bowser and I was playing against Luigi. Yeah. And he he strikes stage like. The, he wanted to ban stages, so I was like, uh, FD's pretty neutral, and that's not a neutral stage against Luigi. Yeah, absolutely not. That's my first mistake. Or, or Sonic. Yes, uh, so, I've got to work on that myself. Turn off there, missed that. I see a lot of Yoshi Lambert. sat in shield there. See, dude, that Yoshi sh shield is notoriously hard to break. Oh wow, Nair's gonna take oh, the stop. Fun fact, Yoshi was the original parry. Was he? Yeah, in, in Melee, releasing his shield actually gave you a parry. Some um, It wasn't the same, issues. it didn't add any extra lag. It was basically just like an inverted power shield. Oh, that's interesting. Can Yoshi power shield in Melee? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I think Yoshi can. But they all, like, you get an inverted power shield. It doesn't reflect projectiles, but there's no lag. I'm beefing Yoshi, gonna take that stock. Yeah. He's sitting there, and now it's Jagrun's game. Aim, unless PC Ninja pulls some miracle. He's holding it down advantage crazy. He just walked into that. Oh, back air! Oh. Not. Oh, he saved his jump, though. He's good. Gucci. Yeah. Now that's kill percent, we're gonna be seeing a lot of down tilt. See, Yoshi has been holding mid stage, or at least putting him in disadvantage, but. Look at that, PC Ninja is yeah. just letting him take stage control. Ooh, there, there's the double jump armor coming in there. Saving his damn life. Ooh, wow, Nair to shield. 
DC Ninja's bringing this back, though. This is not over. He's throwing out some shield, like, uh, dash grab, I think that was. Uh, maybe getting a little nervous here. Ooh. He will get Greninja at least to 80 to kill him. So he's one more conversion or one more hit away. And that's essentially a tie game right there. And, especially. Yeah, but. Yep, speaking of. Not a tie game. Especially Yoshi's yeah. rage right now. Yeah, max rage Yoshi is nothing to mess up. Yep, he just needs one more hit right now. Oop. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Oh my god. Drag downs! Ooh. That was some melee fu- that was some-